You are standing at the beautiful Place de la Bourse, also known as Place Royale. This square and its surrounding buildings are seen as a perfect example of Bordeaux architecture at the end of the 18th century. The history of these magnificent buildings dates back to the mid-18th century. Place de la Bourse was originally built as a royal square dedicated to the French ruler Louis XV. The planning for the new royal square started in 1728 and was later realized between 1730 and 1755. The architect of the square and the surrounding buildings was the famous French architect Ange Jacques Gabriel, who was also responsible for several other major projects, such as Place de la Concorde in Paris and parts of Chateau de Versailles. The common denominator in his works is his symmetrical palace-like facades, which become evident when you look at the buildings surrounding Place de la Bourse. The middle of the square was originally dominated by a large equestrian statue of Louis XV. However, during the French Revolution, at the end of the 18th century, the statue was attacked, removed and melted down. Around 50 years later, the beautiful fountain, known as Three Graces, was built in its place, which is the same fountain that stands today. Magnificent architecture isn't all Place de la Bourse can offer. Across the street, you can find the magnificent Miroir de Quai, the Quai Mirror. This mirror covers a massive 3,450 square meter, which makes it the largest water mirror in the whole world. The mirror was built in 2006 by the fountain specialist Jean-Max Lorca. The area is covered with a thin layer of water, which gives it this mirroring effect. The fountain system can also generate a fog effect, reaching as high up as 2 meters. Being a water mirror, its effect cannot be seen during winter. During summertime, however, the mirror becomes a popular place where both kids and adults come to play. The name of the square comes from the fact that the Chamber of Commerce and other economic institutions are installed in the surrounding buildings. Place de la Bourse simply translates to Square of the Wallet. The South Pavilion, which is the one open to the public, houses the Musée des Douanes. This museum is a customs museum, displaying the history of Bordeaux as a port town models of different types and ships, navigational instruments, and much more. If you haven't already, I can recommend that you visit the square during the darker hours of the day. The contrast between the illuminated building and the dark sky is something really spectacular, and it has become one of the most photographed places in Bordeaux. It creates a magical atmosphere you do not want to miss.